fucking hell. <laughs> you're crushing okay, up. Are you ready? <laughs> you're crushing up all like the dry semen from your virtual dates. Yes. On a more serious note, <laughs> we're talking about virtual sex why stories. That, why is that serious on a more serious note? We're talking about virtual sex. <laughs> it's not serious at all. It really isn't because virtual sex is fun. It's the epitome of stupid uh, fun. Hot, stupid fun. It is the spice of life right now. Virtual sex. I think we're all getting into it, all getting a little bit of virtual sex right now because <laughs> what else can we really do? <laughs> yeah, we really wanted to talk about our best virtual sex experiences because Florence and I, I mean, mm. we had a lot, um, especially during yes. lockdown. And the first pe person we tell is like each other. We're like, oh my God, just did this. And it's amazing because I feel like virtual <laughs> sex is so underrated. Yeah. It sounds really cool. But then when it actually comes down to it, you're just like, eh, no, I'd rather have sex. It's like, of course, everyone would rather have sex, but that's not Oops. possible especially if you're having a long distance relationship if you if you can't get to each other if you know one person's gone to their parents the other person's on the other side of the road on what road world <laughs> on the other side of the road <laughs> um, other side of the world <sighs> for some kind of reason <laughs> <laughs> then yeah. virtual sex is really necessary and great to fill a need and to satisfy when physical touch can't happen. Oh, it's so good. And today I had virtual sex and it was amazing. Yay. Even after the sex, my partner was like, that was the best virtual sex I've ever had. And oh. that really made me feel good. Yes, <laughs> uh, so delicious. You you want that kind of praise, appra like appraisal? You want yeah. that kind of praise it got, after. It got like hot. It was like, it was really hot. Like the camera angles, they were good. I was like, this is, this is lit. This is like a little porno live. <laughs> <laughs> Live porno. Well, I mean, that is what we're talking about video call sex. That's that's what Florence is talking about specifically. Yeah. There, but there are different yeah. types of virtual sex. Um, yeah. You have anything Basically. From... Oh, wow. <laughs> so that wasn't supposed to be rude. That was just like, oh, wow. Like, wow. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a reaction. It definitely came up rude. So. Yeah. It didn't it sound rude? It's not. It's just like, wow. <laughs> it, <sounds rude. laughs> it was like, wow, you're speaking over me. Okay. You weren't though. On my side, you weren't speaking over me. There's like a mad delay on our virtual sex chat. We're, we are recording this virtually right now and the internet is so bad. Yeah, it's really slow. So please bear with us if we, if we talk. It's literally frozen right now. But yeah, virtual sex, it could be anything from like sexting to phone sex, basically anything that you can do that isn't in person. Yeah, I via a phone. So uh, this also yeah. includes sending nudes, uh, swapping videos, mm -hmm. pictures, sending voice notes. I have a lot of voice notes. Yes sex ah! yes oh. oh oh my god that just reminds me that i had a really great sexing session the other day and it had voice notes in it yes oh sexting as well that's a good one like just it can be just typing typing yeah I and mean, it might just be like little messages here and there it might be whole paragraphs of describing stuff yeah virtual sex oh. is so huge there is like so much limitless you can do. even i mean i guess it's basically like masturbating, but you're like skyrocketing to a new level because you've basically got like real time porn or like erotica at the same time. Oh. Could you call flirting virtual sex? Or what's the difference? You know, like where does it become virtual sex? Is that when you're like, I am masturbating? Oh, this is so hot. I am yeah. wanking over this. Like, I feel like it becomes sex when you're pleasuring yourself. Yeah. Like when there's masturbation involved. It doesn't because... have to be physical though, because pleasuring yourself could still be yeah. mental, right? And you're just like, yeah, I guess whatever you perceive as solo sex mm -hmm. would be virtual sex if there was someone else involved in a virtual way and it does not count if they're just talking about i don't know a sex experience and they've got no idea that you're wanking that's not really virtual sex that's you just wanking to their shit it has to be mutual <laughs> right that's yeah yeah it has to be a mutual experience where yeah. you're both going through it together yeah but we want to talk about like some of the stories some things that we've done that have been like 
extra exciting. Yeah. Because so, I know, Reed, you've told me some interesting things about your virtual sex. It, I mean, we both have. The, it is endless. <laughs> um, recently, I've just been receiving some very, very hot voice notes. Like, I love voice notes anyway. I love voice notes in dating. But vir- virtual voice note sex is just... Oh, fuck. And it's just like, oh my god, oh. I received this and I'm just going to come over it a lot. And when you replay it later... <laughs> oh my god, over and over again, you're like, yeah. Uh, um, and a lot of oh my god last night I got some great virtual videos of um, this guy I met on Hinge and he was just he was like so confident about his body and he just had a lot of good video hot content of his dick and wanking and just like him doing stuff and I was just like I'm loving this wow but that's not really I mean I wasn't wanking over it though that's the only thing but I was definitely but you were appreciating oh my god appreciating mentally pleasuring myself what about yeah. you? You said you had a recent experience of voice notes. <laughs> well, the deep breath. Yeah, actually, in the last like in the last week, I've had two really good virtual sex situations. So I had like a sexing session with someone that I'm talking to on the other side of the world because I decided to change my field profile location up just for fun. And we were having like a really great like consensual sexing session. So like before the sexing even started, he was like, "Is it okay if I send you a sext?" Oh, and I was like, "Hell fucking yeah!" Oh, God. Tick tick tick, please. <laughs> yeah. And then when he when he sent like a, a dick pic he was like would you mind if i sent you a dick pic i was like oh my god uh, yes <laughs> i could die yeah please but it, <laughs> it was super hot because i was gaming at the time and he was like do you mind if i set like, like if we send a sex and i was like well i am gaming and i'm in the middle of a mission because i was on assassin's creed he was like that's okay he was like just imagine that i'm gonna go down on you whilst you're gaming so i was like okay so I got the like okay. got my doxy and like placed it in between my legs and I was like I'm getting my vibrator here so that we've got like a virtual representation of like what you're imagining. Oh, and God. then it just sort of went on and it was very distracting. I kept having to pause my mission, obviously. Yeah, obviously. But you can't concentrate with that shit. At the same time, I was like, it was kind of hot that I was just, like, I was updating him on my mission, like where I was getting in it so that he would know. And he was just like, it's so hot that I'm doing this whilst you're doing this. <laughs> And I was just like, well, I've finished. I've assassinated the person that I needed to assassinate. Now we're gonna come. Then it got real. Mm, got <laughs> real. I love that though. When you're when you're virtually sexing when you're not supposed to be. So like while you're yeah. in a class, while you're at work, while you're in the well, I wouldn't say cinema. That's just evil. Just when you're not supposed <laughs> to be. I don't know about you, but Christmas was like virtual sexed city because you're sitting there with your family, but you're like looking at hot, sexy messages and you're just like, you're trying to play it cool. It's like, yeah, would you like a drink? I'm like, uh, yeah, I love a drink. <laughs> that was me, not this Christmas, but the Christmas before. <sighs> so good. The hardness. The ha- what about you? What was like the last exciting virtual sex you had? I mean, the last one was, I mean, voice notes and videos all the time, but one of the best virtual experiences I've had was late last year with uh, an Amsterdam buddy who I met off of, fuck, did I meet him off a field? I can't remember. But he, we must have like virtually video called each other, virtually fucked. The first time we had like a virtual date, it went into sex immediately and we just got like really horny and into each other. And then for like that week after, it was just constant like video calls, video updates, video sexting pictures just voice notes everything i'm trying to think like what actually (laughs) yeah at one point he was like he really wanted to stuff me full like both both my ass and my vagina and my pussy so he was like double penetration he was like you have to put this butt plug in so i did and i was doing yoga so i was taking like photos with this butt plug while doing yoga yeah and he was he was loving that it was fucking good and just i don't know just like the communication and just like watching somebody wank and watching somebody enjoy themselves that much and their eyes rolling to the back of their head and just like just everything you connect on and we were we were playing a lot around with power so one moment he was really dominant and I was really submissive at another moment I was really dominant and he was really submissive and oh just holy fucking shit it was delicious and that kind of led up was to this me. on video this was all video yeah most of it was all video I mean we were chatting in and out but like the best time was video and just like watching yeah. and he was also on holiday with his mate so he had to like sneak off to, to his room and try and be quiet and I was like that ah! is so hot and you're like trying so hard to be quiet you're like <laughs> When when you've got like I mean that just reminds me of like having sex with someone and they 
you've got their hand over your mouth. It's like the vibes. Oh, you like feel, yeah. You yeah. feel it virtually. Oh, fuck. Yeah, virtual sex is good. And I feel like we just lose touch with it because we, we end up so wanting yeah. the physical stuff. Like physical is great, but it's trying to relearn to love virtual sex. And and it can, yeah. it, it shouldn't f- have to feel awkward. It should, of course it feels like nerve wracking and exciting and thrilling. And sometimes you're like, oh no, that's too much. I don't want to do that. But once you, yeah. once you push yourself to actually get on a video call with somebody and then things get a little bit yeah. heated, it's just, it does make is, you feel sexy. I think it, what's kind of nerve wracking about it is like, what do I say? What do I do? Like, do I sound stupid and stuff? But I guess it's having like a certain level of like comfortability with that person as well. I mean, you don't so have like, to have the comfortability. It doesn't have to take like weeks for it to come. Yeah. It could just be the first yeah. time you, you get on video camera with them. If you feel comfortable, that's a perfect yeah. situation. I mean, I had virtual sex with like on my first date with a guy that I'm currently seeing. Yeah. And I, I think a lot of people worry about video sex or virtual sex when it comes to like the way that that they look is because they're worried that they might not look as sexy or maybe they're worried about their you know where they're sitting where their surroundings are their size yeah being too loud or like honestly it just takes practice it takes time to get your phone up get your camera screen up or get your laptop and put the the webcam option up and and practice positions practice like movements you know i i like lying down on my side because i know that looks sexy and i know Know what position to be in or I like sitting up straight and um, making sure that you can see all of my face and my tits it really depends on what yeah. you want and you, it just takes practice it just takes knowing yeah. where the cameras are camera is too that's funny because what when I was having but I was having video sex earlier today and there was a point in the sex where because I was kind of like on my knees like resting on my feet because I was kind of like upright but and I had like the vibrator here but I was on my knees basically you're gonna have and to my show knees started really it was just like this you know like up like that like in your you've got your your feet kind of like resting up propping your bum up yeah basically. yeah and then you've got like the vibrator here but my legs were getting really painful at a point and my feet were really hurting so i was like fuck like i need to lie back and i just spoke to him you know i was just like does this like look okay would it look good like if i lay back and he was just like yeah that's like really hot yeah. so you can't like it and also what you think might look hot looks hot to someone else yeah and yeah it's i think mostly when you're relaxed and you're having a good time like the other person is gonna have a good time too like they're not looking at you being like oh my god like look at her double chin or like whatever because if they see that you're having a, like a really great like masturbating sesh then they're gonna be fucking on it no matter what you look like in that frame yeah you don't have to look like a porn star you don't have to make sure you look perfect every time it's actually yeah. so much sexier if you just completely let go and relax and you don't look like you're posing all the time you just look like you're having a good comfortable yeah. time uh, one yeah. of my favorite positions Positions is like this one. And you're like that to the yes. camera, and you're like, yes, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm wanking yeah. up my little mini dick there, but well, that was supposed to be me like <laughs> fucking myself with a dildo. Yeah, but that's yeah. like one of my favorites. Or this one, yeah. Or just on the side here, and that that's looks... so funny. You're just de- you're describing exactly what I was doing earlier. Well, tell us your virtual sex stories in the comments below, and like this video if you liked it, and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. You can also check out our podcast, Fucks Given, on all podcast platforms well check us out on instagram come curious as well as our personal accounts read amber x and florence bark and we will see you very soon in a few days bye